looks at a summertime pattern, which means some rain possible. That's right, and unfortunately, we're not going to have, I know something else someone likes, uh, what people like along with the summertime is the heat. We're not going to mm -hmm. have that. We're going to have the humidity, and it is going to be in the 80s, but it's not going to be nowhere near where it will be if we were in a typical pattern where it would be mid to upper 80s because the rain is going to keep our temperatures not back down a little bit. So today, I think tomorrow, today and tomorrow, rather, are your best chances for any kind of consistency. After that, it kind of goes back to spotty until the weekend. All right. Live pinpoint Doppler radar this morning is not too active. As we scan the skies here coming up on 5, 12. Good morning to you. A few showers here and there. I had a, uh, a truck that had some uh, water on it when I came out to go to work this morning, so it rained in a few places overnight, so be careful of some slick roads. Otherwise, not a great chance for the possibility for uh, rain as we start your day off today, but we're going to see a few spotty showers here and there, so I'm going to keep those in the forecast. Temperatures very, very mild, very, very muggy this morning. You're going to, you're going to feel the air when you go outside this morning, that's for sure. 69 here in Hazard, the same in Plankville. 67 in Zayersville, Jackson, Paintsville, 68, Inez, Prestonsburg, 69, also Hindman and Hyden this morning, 66, Whitesburg, 68, Phelps, 69, Williamson, 67, Elkhorn City. I'd be a shower floating around over that way this morning, 64 in Somerset, 68 out toward Monticello, Somerset, one of the coolest spots in the region, 70 in Barberville right now, 65 out toward uh, Middlesbrough, 67 or uh, yeah, 67 in Pineville, 64 up in Mount Vernon and 65 in McKee for you this morning. Almanac, sunrise at 616, but a lot of cloud cover this morning. Don't think we'll see a whole lot of sun early today. 845 is your sunset tonight. 89, the record high set back in 91, tied in 2012, record low. 44 back in 1988, that was a hot summer in 2012. I remember that for sure. Looking at a half moon now and heading on our way toward uh, three quarter moon as we have the next several days. Bus stop forecast for you this morning. Again, I'm going to keep a spotty chance for a shower or a thunderstorm in the mix there right around 64 by the time we get to the buses we'll drop a little bit even though it's still very muggy and mild this morning 83 this afternoon strong storms are possible especially uh probably right around three four five o'clock and a little bit later after that so we're going to keep a very close eye on that for you today here's our big complex of showers and storms pushing off to the east and then eventually we'll pull off to the northeast. So we're going to continue to watch this. There is a lot of things to take into consideration for you today. And that's if we see any sunshine in the mix. That will warm us up a little bit if we do. And if it does, that could mean a little bit on the stronger side with these storms. So we're going to keep an eye on that for you as we go through the afternoon hours. Future view, you see a few showers trying to float around at 7 o'clock this morning. Next rounds come through late this afternoon. Future view, not real optimistic that we'll see a whole lot of strong storm activity until late in the evening. You see mid-80s across most of the area and then a few of those storms start to roll through overnight. So try to keep it more spotty, which will be fine with me. But again, as we go through the forecast, we are going to have to keep an eye on the possibility for a few of those threats. We go on in through Wednesday, same old pattern, same thing as we go throughout the rest of the week as well. We'll take you on through Thursday and in toward Friday. And again, it's the same thing, just chances for spotty showers and storms off and on for the next several days. So uh, I'll take springtime back now, please. You can keep summertime. Uh, we'll take the uh, nice drier days that we've been having right before Memorial Day. All right. Here's the threats for today. I've got the flood threat low. If we see a heavy rain shower, could put us in the possibility for just a little bit of uh, possible localized flooding. I think our main threat is damaging winds. We're going to keep an eye on that one. Hail and tornado, pretty much non-existent at this point. Can't completely rule either one of them out, but uh, going to keep them in the slight category, and we're going to keep an eye on that for you. Planner for today, we will see temperatures climbing by the afternoon into the 80s, low 80s, and mid 80s for the forecast. Again, if we see any sunshine, that could ramp up our storm chances a little bit. Again, we're going to keep an eye on that for you. And the seven-day forecast for your weekends always in view. Those chances for spotty showers and storms linger with temperatures generally staying in the low to mid 80s for daytime highs, 60s for overnight lows. First check of the refrigerator this morning. See what we have for you there behind the magnets on refrigerator art. Nice little picture coming into us there from Jessa over at Stinnett Elementary School. We appreciate that. Appreciate all the nice pictures we get to showcase here on the morning news. The time is 5.15. Good morning. You're watching Mountain News this morning right here on WIMT.